नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंशु जिंदल फ्रॉम जिंदल हॉस्पिटल मेरठ एन आई वी एफ स्पेशलिस्ट एंड अ रिप्रोडक्टिव एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट डू यू विश टू नो द फाइव सीक्रेट्स ऑफ अ थिन एंडोमीट्रियम वी आर गोइंग टू लेट यू नो दैट टूडे एंड वी हैव नन अदर देन आर डायनेमिक पास प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फॉक्सी पास पास प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ एस आर एंड ऑल्सो पास प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ आई ए जी एस नन अदर देन डॉक्टर रिश्मा ढिलन पाई from mumbai who is a very decorated art specialist to give her five secrets to us so let's hear from her hello i'm dr rishma dhilan pai and today we are going to be talking about the importance of endometrial thickness and how i manage it as you know endometrial thickness is extremely important for pregnancy and for implantation unfortunately it is often neglected so secret number 1 to managing this problem is look for the problem good ultrasound transvaginally done with a color doppler to see the thickness more than 7 mm the pattern triple line as well as the color doppler for the blood flow follow this up very often if required with a hysteroscopy not only to look for any pathology but also to do a biopsy which will help us to look for any endometritis or tuberculosis or any other uh, you know issues such as dating which we can later do so first thing diagnose the problem second look for the common test that we can do we have now three commercially available tests one is the endometrial receptivity assay for dating then we have the endometrial function test which looks at the pathology as well as the dating and we also have a receptiva test which is used for looking for any signs of inflammation so once you've done all the testing then does hysteroscopy have a role to play in treatment many studies say that just doing a hysteroscopy may improve implantation rates also if a scratching is added on during that time there is a controversy about whether it actually improves pregnancy outcomes importantly look for endometritis when you're doing that hysteroscopy very often you can diagnose it that way and it can be very easily treated with antibiotics with good results so three secrets down what else can we do when you actually find a thin endometrium lot of things to help improve endometrial thickness an infusion of a simple thing like hcg can help an intrauterine infusion of platelet rich plasma many many studies reinforcing that fact GCSF granulocyte colony stimulating factor infusion again helps improve endometrial thickness also the primer technique where you can do intrauterine infusion of PRP and subcutaneous GCSF can be given even stem cells are being used as an intrauterine infusion to improve endometrial thickness lastly if everything else fails you have to resort to either surrogacy or nowadays uterine transplantation is showing excellent results many many cases have been done and in the future lot of studies on the endometrial biome and its treatment with probiotics also endometrial regeneration with stem cell therapy studying the fluids of the endometrial cavity in real time and finally an artificial uterus being created and so i'm sharing all my secrets with you today hope this will be of benefit to you thank you so dr rishma dilan pai for giving us your five secrets of thin endometrium i'm sure people who are seeing this video will really benefit from this as as we are all aware that thin endometrium definitely reduces the chances of a pregnancy and if you get a thin endometrium in a fresh cycle it is better to freeze all and do a frozen embryo cycle which has been prepared with hormones and a thin endometrium not only causes infertility but it also gives rise to recurrent implantation failure abortions and hence it has to be treated thank you once again dr rishma for giving your five secrets thank you if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring more of these five secret videos for you to you they will really help you solve so many of your dilemmas in daily practice